six or seven eighties, seventies, eighties samples that I just pulled out of YouTube. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Maybe we can chop something. Up. See, I have something chopped up already. For example, uh, there's a song called Hazy Fantasy. I think by Anthony Mott. Nice little guitar-y kind of a 80s kind of vibe, which I thought I can like chop into like meaningful just that bit, just this bit. Chopping these and putting them into a sampler allows me to play it quite like this. Come here, come here, I'll show you. No? Basically taking these waves and putting it into the EXS sampler of Logic and connecting that into the keyboard allows me to play these already existing musical notes in different orders and different rhythm patterns, right? right? You know, this is a different sample. You can make a different beat out of this. You know, something like that. So. Find some kicks now. Now that we have a sample, I'm just basically trying to create a groove that can go with it. <laughs> so I have it in my head, like. <laughs> I just have to fill it up with pockets and kind of get the kicks exactly where I need them. Sample changes here, I think the kick pattern should also change. Right. You see how groove is now shaping up with just a kick and maybe a couple of snares. What's up? How's the rain? And outside where? Outside the door. Hey, enter, bro. Actually, yeah, you're right. You can play like the B minor for that extended, for that full extended part, and then you should have B minor there. So you can play B minor, B minor there. Yeah, I don't know, it's that, it's that, but it's not an instrument, it's just that Amrit is having a play 
<laughs> I played it with my friends. <laughs>